Good morning, fam. It is about 7.28. My workout starts in about two minutes. So I'm coming on to say hi. I'm, I don't really vlog this early because I get up and I do the most before I get to my workout. And then I work out and do all the other things before I start work. But I decided I'll try it this morning. I just washed my hair. I have conditioner in it. So I like to leave the conditioner in while I work out. So it kind of acts like a deep conditioner. Yeah, so anyway, I'm about to go start a workout and I will be back soon. All right. Workout. Hey. Just wrapped up the workout. It was easy. A little challenging in some ways, but not like super exhausting because today I concentrated on the arms and you will find that when you do um, upper body work you tend not to get as exhausted as if you do lower body lower if you work your legs you definitely burn more calories that's for sure it just happens naturally so today was mostly about the upper body i might give you guys a little sneak peek at what we did um i always record every session but i don't like to share the workout because everyone is coming on and working out you know they're comfortable in front of the camera and some people don't necessarily want to have their images out there so I try not to to do that but I'll give you guys a little sneak peek you know what I'm saying yeah <laughs> a little sneak peek all right I'm going to get in the shower my coffee I keep it in this um thermos I guess it's, it's, this actually keeps it very hot for a super long time this is from the ex Hotel Escarit Arte. This is one of the things they gave us when we went there and I love it. We got two and I use mine literally every day. When I make my coffee because it takes, it keeps it hot for so long and I don't drink all of my coffee at once. I take a few sips before my workout. And that kind of like, it helps me to push through the workout. I don't take, drink much coffee before my workout. I just drink, I don't know. I probably take about four sips. It's not a lot. So since I went to Mexico and I injured my shoulder, I'm still dealing with that pain, y'all. All right, so I am back. I have a lot of things to do today, to be quite honest. So I just went through all of my emails for work after I washed my hair. I put my, um, <laughs> what like six granny braids and I call them granny braids it's still very wet because I like to braid my hair while very wet it detangles much easier I added in some um, leave-in conditioner oh and I have to show you guys how the center of my hair is coming along as well so I have a post um, check-in for you guys it's about a month that I've been using their products and I just ran out of the gut health which is the product that I've been the, um, the smoothie that I've been drinking I ran out of that so I need another one so I'm still using the um, pills that they sent me let me show you them Meditresi fortifier this one and they're I'm supposed to use two a day and I find myself skipping not intentionally but I often forget to put my pills out while I'm eating because these are supposed to be taken while your stomach is full so i also have the tressy revitalizer so one is the revitalizer and one is the fortifier hopefully you guys can see that all right good so these two i use every day um i try to use every day so I'm leaving them out now i'm about to make a protein shake since i worked out i haven't had anything to eat i finished my coffee so now i'm gonna have a protein shake and i'm also going to fry some plantain guys i love plantains i fry plantains almost every day so i'm gonna fry some plantains and some eggs so this is my current protein shake that i'm using it's called nourish um i'm working with this brand <clears throat> i started using it for the first time yesterday love the flavor of it it's all natural plant-based gluten-free so if you're looking for a good um protein shake definitely i would suggest trying this out especially if you are vegan this is the perfect protein shake for you guys i'm about to attend a 
training. It's a, our annual sexual harassment and discrimination prevention training. It's probably going to be about an hour, but I just made mine. They haven't started yet. I think it's about to start now. So I have made 10 a.m. Thank you everyone for joining us for our annual preventing harassment training. Uh, it's being offered by our ADP. Uh... Okay, so it's just started. I'm not on camera or anything, <laughs> but I can see whoever is on. I can see them. But anyhow, so I just made my shake. Um, so this protein shake is all natural vegan um, plant-based. I love it. It's gluten-free, which is something I try to avoid, even though I do get into trouble with it <laughs> often. I love gluten, clearly. A lot of us do, but it's really not good for us. It causes inflammation. It, um, it causes us to bloat and stuff like that. All right, let me go listen in on this training, y'all. And then I'm coming back to show you what else I'm doing for the rest of the day. I gotta fix my hair um, because I think I'm gonna show you guys a few things that I got within the last couple of days. And I'm altering a dress for my um, knee, so maybe I'll show you guys how I do that as well. To, to Kim Fitzgerald, and uh, she will lead us through the, the training. Thank you so much, Kim. Hi, good morning. Thank you, Christina. Thank you everyone for joining. Um, my name is Kim Fitzgerald and I am your Human Resources Business Partner here at ADP. I do so guys, I am in the bathroom doing my hair. My bathroom is so small, guys, you can barely move around, to be quite honest with you. So um, I have been putting gel in the roots of my hair just to smooth out the roots so that I can get it in a high bun. That's what I'm going for. So I smoothen out the front, the back. I have it all in sections. So what I'm going to do now is put it up into a high bun. That's what I'm going for. All right, so I kind of just wanted to show you guys the process. This is the easiest way for me. Now all I can do, all I need to do is gather up each section and pull it up because it's already smoothened out. Okay, so my hair is done. I currently have it wrapped with my uh, silky string that is from a robe that I have. I don't need to cover the entire, um, all of my hair. I like to leave the edges out because I think the gel that I use it just stays without me having to actually put something around the edges um, and sometimes the the um, scarf or whatever you use to tie your hair sometimes leave marks on your face and I prefer not to have that this is not tight at all so when I take this off my edges uh, my hair will be smooth without having without leaving like a dent in my hair so I don't want to see that at all so this is a slightly covering up the hair so that it sets and dries in place not start to like frizz out because you know how natural hair does So you can see I had my sewing machine set up over here. I'm going to do some sewing. I have like a printer in the corner as well. Paper, you know, yeah. this is my everything room. And this is the dress. You know what, let me take you guys off of the stand so you can actually see. I think you can see properly here. So this is the dress. Oh my God. This dress is so beautiful. My niece picked this up from, um, she in and let me tell you i think she paid about 50 something dollars for it under 60 dollars it's beautiful trumpet bottom but she wants the bottom to become much wider and she also needs me to adjust this neckline because it's a little too wide so, so i'm going to do that i also have a jeans that i want to take in that i just got from express
Darts are in both sides. Now this should be fitting me perfect. I will try it on later. <laughs> Hey fam, so <laughs> I decided to get festive. So I just showed you guys this beautiful black bodysuit that is from Express. So as I may have mentioned in a previous video, I am a Express ambassador. So I've partnered with Express. This is my fourth campaign. I think I've done with them on Instagram though where I feature some of their pieces. This bodysuit is amazing. I love silk. I think silk is such a beautiful fabric. It can be elevated in so many ways or you can dress it down. You understand? It can be, ele be elevated or you can dress it down very easily. So I decided to pair it with these jeans and I'm going to insert a few photos of what I paired it with for my Instagram post. Um, so this jeans is also from Express and in the video, in, in this vlog, I'm showing you how I tailored it because the waist was a little bit too um, big. So I wanted to bring in the waist a bit. So I went ahead and I altered it. I'm also, I'm also altering a dress for my niece. Um, it's a dress that she plans to wear to a ball this coming weekend. She bought some crinoline or what some people might call tool. So this is the remaining of the fabric from what I added to her dress. She wanted to add tool underneath it so it stays out and you know remains pretty stiff. When I, I'm sorry if you're hearing any other noises, it's my computer. So tool is a very good material um, for adding drama. If, if, if you want to add drama to something, add some tool. <laughs> it will change the entire look completely. So this um, one shoulder silk top, um, you will see how it's made, simple little bow at the top. But I wanted to add some drama since it's the holidays and we're gonna, you know, get dressed up, you want to feel more festive, why not wrap yourself up like a bow? Seriously, why not wrap yourself up like a present? A bow, a dramatic bow, listen, and the material because because a um, tool or crinoline is very stiff. This is the perfect material, though light can also create jamma because, uh, because though it's light, it's very stiff, so it will stay in place. Um, I just was thinking, I was like, you know what? I need some drama for this top. The top is beautiful by itself. For a normal occasion, it's beautiful. But for the holidays, you know, drama. I can imagine wearing this bodysuit, adding this bow, and wearing a really nice, sexy skirt or pants with it. And those heels, everything. So, I also decided to put a little drama in my hair, so I don't know if you guys can see. So I added a little bit of diamond, um, a little bit of rhinestones to my hair. This is actually a choker that I just wrapped around and pinned it in. I felt like going all out. And my earrings are, these are a pair of cuffs. Actually, I think it was only one cuff, but in any event, I currently just wear one. In this ear and then I have I think a X or a cross and then a little ball in my second hole. And that's really all I need. The drama is this and then my rings which are fairly large and all of these rings except for this one um, I'll 
I have worked with a brand early on, Italo, I think it's called. So this ring is from Italo, and then I have a second ring on that I've had forever. So I can't remember where none of these rings came from. But I'm gonna have certain things um, that are statement pieces that I think will never go out of style. I try to always hold on to them unless I lose them for some reason, but I don't like get rid of them. I know that I'll be able to wear them so many more times going forward. All right. Um, all right, so I try to come a little closer to you guys. Um, I My vlogging camera, it died. The battery died, that's what I was filming on. So I'm currently using my 50 millimeter lens, which is the only lens I currently have. Oh, by the way, did I tell you guys I have a, a new camera? Yes, I got an early Christmas present because my other camera died. Um, don't know what happened to it. So um, when I told Jay that it died, he went to take it to Best Buy if you can get it fixed because I still had, I, I thought I still have warranty on it. Come to find out the warranty is done. So he went ahead and he got me a new one. This um, is the Canon, I don't remember the name, but I'll put it on the screen because I don't remember out of my head, but it's a really, really good camera. I'm currently using a 50 milliliter lens, which is the only lens I currently have for the camera because we ordered another lens. Um, 50 is very good for shooting portrait style. It's really good for videos too, but um, unfortunately you can't zoom in. So I'm a little far away from you guys so you guys can see all of me. <laughs> it's because it's portrait, it is meant to be really zoomed in and seeing you cropped in very close. So um, even though I'm looking in the viewfinder now, I can see myself, but I don't know if how I'm being picked up by you guys. But when I watch the video over, you're gonna... Anyway, I'm rambling. The, I got the new camera, I love it. Um, so it became my early Christmas present, basically. I'll give you like a little cutaway of what the camera looks like. It's a beautiful camera. It's bigger than my other camera. It takes amazing photos and it has so many different um, functionalities that I can't wait to play around with. So I got my early Christmas gift. I don't know about you guys, but do you believe in waiting until Christmas to like get your presents and open them on that day? Like I feel like as an adult, we don't do that anymore. We, when we get our presents, we open them, we use them. That's it. And so back to what I was saying. So I was showing you guys what I was wearing in terms of jewelry and whatnot. So hopefully you guys can see good. What I'll do is if, while I'm editing, I'll probably have to zoom in to show you all of the accessories. I wore my silver shoes. I find that right now I'm really gravitating towards silver during the winter. I just feel like it just, silver is a, a winter color to me. Gold is really summer, you know, tropical. Um, so I wore my silver heels and it really just elevated the style. And like I said, if I wanted to really make it more formal, I would go for a beautiful skirt or a pair of nice slacks. Um, I also added this jewelry box. Now I've had this box for ages, so the cover literally comes off. But I remember on Saturday when I went out to shoot, I was looking for something that would work with everything that I had on. And I didn't have the right bag, like the appropriate bag, to really go, go with everything. And I looked on my vanity and it just hit me away. Oh my God, this couldn't be the perfect, like look at it. It became the perfect bag. Um, and you'll see that also in the photos that I took on Saturday that I will insert here. All right, so guys, let me know if you would do something like this. Like, uh, tell me what you think about the drama I added to this simple bodysuit. Okay, so let me know what you think about it. So simple, any of you can do it. Just go buy a piece of tool and add it to a top that you have. Even if it's a top that already has a strap, like a strap with a, a top with a strap right here, two straps, you can still add that bow to the second strap and make it work. I, I promise you, it would look so good. So I have two more items from Express to show you guys. And guys, I'll leave links to everything that I'm showing you in the description box. Um, remember, Express currently has some, some very, very good sales. I think everything I picked up was between 30 to 50% off and I think there was additional sales going on right now. So 
if you aren't checking Espress for your Christmas or your winter looks, please go ahead, check them out. I will leave a link below for Espress to take you right there as well as links to everything that I will be showing. So the second piece right here, this second piece is this beautiful fluorescent golden dress. I mean the color, that was it. The color sold me. Now I have this dress which I showed you guys before in an off-white which I absolutely adore. I love that dress. I love the way it fits and I picked this up in the very same size. This is a small. The other one was also small. I just love that they fit and hug you in all the right places. The straps can be adjustable. You, the, the straps are adjustable so you can adjust them to make them a little higher or lower. Depends on how you want to make them fit. You can wear really strap this bra with it. These silk dresses are amazing. I I don't remember every single color they have, but each color there's I think an emerald green, there's a red. They're all beautiful colors, perfect for the season. And again, this dress is also on sale. I will also leave this linked below. All right. Now on to the next. I love the color this perfectly made clearly I love this color I love the fluorescent yellow tone I think it has like it's, it's almost like you're wearing the Sun beautiful bright vibrant it's very much a color that's on trend for the season clearly we are gravitating to colors for the winter and the fall because you no know, we are, so, we are so used to the black that I think that this season, everyone is looking for a nice, bright, vibrant color to add in their, to their wardrobe. And this is a very good way to add some beautiful color to your wardrobe. This is perfect for most skin tones, especially if you have a, a darker skin tone. I can just see this glowing against a beautiful brown skin. Listen, it's soft. I love that it has this kind of like a fuzzy furry look to it if you come up close let me I don't know if you can pick it up but it has that soft fuzzy look to it I really absolutely love this sweater when I saw this I put in I, I was looking for something to go with it and that's how I found the silk dress in this color. Even though I saw the silk dress before in that color, I didn't realize, or the, the color didn't stand out to me as much as it stood out in the sweater. So after seeing this color, I then went ahead and searched for other items on Espress with that color and I found the dress and I am so happy. They work beautifully together. So it's almost like you're, Again, I love to mix my things. I don't think that anyone should just wear one item one way. Like this dress, I've now made it into a skirt in a sense because it looks like, you know, once I layer the sweater on top of it, it reads as if it's a skirt and a sweater and not the same dress that I just wore in the previous clip. So I really, really love it everything that I purchased from Express recently um, and I have a few other things that I am eyeing there that I want to pick up I'm actually looking for maybe a coat or a blazer or something but there's one more item that I'm trying to pick up from there and those are the two things that I'm eyeing I'm gonna figure it out but if I do definitely share with you what I do decide to pick up 
all right so that's it for the try on i had one more thing that i wanted to try this with so if i do try it on it's my green skirt that i got from pretty little thing i think um i wore it while i was on vacation um well that, that was on the J Glow vlog i would have shown you guys how i wore it while i was on vacation if you are also um, watching my videos over there um, if you're interested in seeing how I wore that skirt, go over and check my Jetlo vlog and watch the recent trip that Jay and I took for his birthday to Mexico. Alright? Um, yeah, I always forget to mention that. I leave, I always leave the Jetlo vlog um, link in my description box, but I don't often like tell you guys you know go check it out or go support but i do want you guys if you're interested i would love for your support over there as well i'm trying to build we are trying to build our numbers on that channel it's growing steadily and i do love all of the support that you guys have already shown and have and looking forward to a continued love and support as well there so that those numbers can grow as well all right um I think that may be it for tonight you know this vlog seems like it may be long so I'm not sure how I'm going to end up editing it but in any event I will be back to continue my vlog tomorrow tomorrow I have I have a I have an appointment in the city so I might take you guys along I think I might be taking the train I took the train I think only once or twice since COVID I hate doing it so I'm basically prepping myself for that for tomorrow Anyway, I think that's it for now. Again, like I said, I'm going to show you how this dress looks with the green skirt. It's the same, um, what's the color? What's the color? Kelly green? Whatever that green is that is very much on trend right now. It's that green. Um, that's the color of the skirt. So I'll show you guys as well in the cutaway somewhere as part of the styling. I just haven't put it on as yet because I was looking at it and was like, you know what? Those two will really go good together. All right, guys. So, all right. I will be seeing you guys later. Bye. Making it real nice this year.